Hi guys! Um, I had to read through this fast very fast and for some reason my internet on my PC won't work because it won't let me play the background music and I have to be in somewhere in not so long so I hope you guys don't mind that the music isn't there maybe I'll be able to like edit it in, I don't know and this is chapter, uh, pff, what chapter now? chapter... 28 of the Baku Garcia X Hawks Listen series. And before I begin, oh my god, I want to lie. Um, it, it's written by Crimson on Sky. And she had noticed me. Someone recommended me to her. Or <laughs> I'm really happy. Um, I wanted to say something nicer back, but I am not able to comment on anyone's fanfictions on Wattpad for some weird, weird reason. So, if anyone, guys. If any of you guys can go to her, her like thing where she she talked about me and saying that I that I was happy that she liked it and thought I was that it was nice. I'm I'm happy. I don't know what to say. She said this. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but just a little bit. Hey, lovelies. Sorry, it is not a chapter actually. Don't worry. I'll be posting later to later today. I actually wanted to say, my friend mentioned something today, and it's most, it almost made me cry for real. So it was a YouTube channel, found a certain ASMR. <laughs> she said, afterward, after that, she says she's speechless. And <laughs> um, she couldn't leave a comment on a video because it's her real name in it. And she wanted to say thank you, I want to say thank you to her, her too, because... It's a really good series and I love her work. <laughs> She's just so nice. Um, I just want the guys, some of you, at least one person to go over there and say thank you for me. That would be real nice. And why won't this music work? It's Something's wrong. Something, something's wrong. I don't know. If I, uh, give me a second. I'll try to fix it. There we go. <laughs> That took me a while, but I'll just go on and read the fanfiction. Thank you guys for my ra listening to my rambling on the beginning. And this is chapter 28, name Wine vs. Katsuki. Written by Crimson on Sky A on Wattpad, link in the description below. Go support her. Katsuki was versing you next, and you were actually pretty nervous. You sent Shota to recovery girl, but you had, had easy to talk to. Because his match against Tokoyami went a bit out of hand. You had versed Tokoyami before and Katsuki vs Ida. Both of you won and how the final match was about to begin. You stayed in the waiting room, contemplating this strangely, but your mind wandered someplace, someplace else. I wonder what Katsuki thinks of me. But wait, I don't care. Oh, but I do. He's my friend after all. The thoughts were interrupted as Katsuki slammed on the door, slammed the door open and closed it behind him. Hey Katsuki! He smiled as, and he grunted, but then sat from across you. When I want to ask you something right now. Your heart was ab about... Your heart was about it dropped, and tears were going to form quickly, quite qu quickly. I yeah. You really prayed that you didn't stutter. You got up again and was about to walk out, but not before turning dramatically and saying, Don't hold back on me, okay? He was serious, but he smiled anyway and nodded. <laughs> sure, Katsu. Time skip. You entered the arena and the ring again while the crowd cheered your name. Katsu was, was upset of you. Your ears strained as you heard Keiko in the sand shouting, If you hurt my baby bird, I'll get you, little noodle. Gosh, you were embarrassed. Like never before. Begin! The match was started and the wings were hurt. Way too much to fly, but at least you had your feathers, which you used effectively to help make an ambush attack on Katsuki. He exploded each one of your knife like feathers and shouted, Damn it, Wayan! You laughed and he breathed heavily. He propelled themselves towards you, 
and before you could dodge, he grabbed your shirt and hit an explosion to your back. Not only burning little feathers you had, but also pushing you forward. You were almost out of bounds when you used the last remaining strength of your wings to create a blast wind push wind to push you away from the other side of the ring. <laughs> Cut gear! You had a lot of pain and agony, as most of your feathers were burned to crisp. Come on, why don't hold back on me? He leaped and flung the explosion to my face, making me dodge, but it was harder at the close range, close range as his hands were right next to my face. When your head started hurting, your vision blurred again. It was just in the fight between So and Shoto. When you opened your eyes after screwing them shut, your <laughs> iris were fairy colored instead of eye colored. You gave, you gave off a dark aura, as before, and Katsuki lunged towards you. He leaped into the air and grabbed his collar. But you went high, so I they managed to spin around and slam onto the floor of, on his back. Slam Katsuki onto the floor on his back. Thank All Might that you didn't kill him. Freaking hell was that? He said, struggling to get up. He lifted his mouth of blood and smiled wildly and evilly. That's when he got worried because he gathered up his, his explosions and did, did this weird spinning missile attack. But he was smiling. Smile, smiling. Out of fear and pure shock, you gathered the little feathers that you remained su suitable and attacked them to attach them to your wings. Then unexpectedly, your wings glowed a bright shade of favorite color and blinked and blinded you for a second. When you look back down, your wings were as good as new. How the hell? You didn't know or care, but it was fr uh, was a freaking miracle. You soared into the sky at a high speed, and Kaski looked so confused, but how fast were able to regain your wings to such a better quality. But he angled himself, then launched straight into the air at the same pro projectory. I'll win this, Wayan! He yelled and was getting to a bit too extreme. You couldn't win, win it if. <laughs> but what I can't read. You couldn't win it if I hit you in the face. You thought trash talking him would help. Genius, really. But now the final blow, you sharpened your feathers and made them go straight at Katsuki. Both screamed as he col collided as the gra crowd gasped at the color of orange, yellow, and favorite color. The smoke was thick, and Beryl just noticed anything in it. But once it cleared up a bit more, Koski was visible, and he was lying down, on, lying face down on the floor, still in the ring. He was up to see his worst nightmare. He was lying on the other side of the stadium, bleeding everyone on the body. Hair messy, wings completely broken, and unconscious in a pile of feathers. No. He thought. He just couldn't bear to see such a, th such a thing. And he was the cause of it. No! He tried to stand up as fast as he could and ran over to you with pure fear in his eyes. He picked you up, picked up your head, and sat down next to him, lay laying it on your, his leg. As I looked over you, damn it, damn it, when wake up, wake up. He was scared and most likely petrified. He tried so hard not to let hair slide down his face. Not now, not here. Not because he lost you. I do. I fucking wanted to be mine and keep you safe. Please give me a chance. I can't say goodbye. Not this early. He was about to cry, but then he heard your small, pathetic cough. His eyes lit up. When he saw your eyes open, a small slit. Thomas. He mumbled with a small smirk, glazing your lips. Don't ever fucking scare me like that. Because he sighed in relief and finally let the pathetic. 
Paramedics, take care. Take you to recovery, girl. Wayan Takumi is, is knocked out. Kasuki Bako is the winner. Ta Kasuki looked up in shock that he was the winner. Wait, no. That's not fair. He didn't want to win like this. He wanted you to... He wanted you to give a better fight. It ended way too soon. Hey, no fair! I want a rematch, he wakes up! <laughs> Wasn't even a fair fight. He started throwing a fit at midnight. Fit at midnight had to knock him out with a quirk. Oh, but Kasuki better be thankful for that because when he wakes up, he is going to have a serious talk with the freaking number three hero. Oh shit! Bakugo? Bakugo? Hawk's going to kill you. <laughs> oh my god, I love that. That was so funny. Oh my god, I love that. Wait. Another part just got posted an hour ago. Ooh, I need to read, read that. Uh, I think I'll be reading it tomorrow. I can't promise anything. The next... The next week till Christmas is going to be like chaotic because I don't know anymore. And I also have a fan fiction that a fan has made. I'm going to read it as fast as I can. Um, I don't know if I will be able to read it today. But it's CEO Izuku X listener. Or reader, I say. So you guys can stay tuned for that. Oh, it's actually Izuku Midoriya X Katsuki's cousin. Oh, the tea! <laughs> but we'll, I'll read that um, when I get the chance to. And thank you, Crimson Unscrew A. Please come support her. But not further, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Love ya!